guys! Welcome to the Spoonie channel where we are unfiltered, unafraid, and pain recognizes pain. Um, I went out last night and this is what I wanted to talk to you about, but it's also an explanation for how I look. I'm pretty sure I did a terrible job taking my makeup off. I'm sure I have all kinds of mascara and stuff. And then this bun, this is what you're going to get because I went out last night. So. I was going to do a video about recovering from the holidays because Lord knows that is a serious topic is how we recover from the holidays. Do we recover from the holidays and how we can make Thanksgiving to New Year a time that doesn't absolutely wreck us and it's coming. But I get to talk to you guys like friends. Like I said, I am alone here in this house, alone, other than the dog, and I'm pretty sure, like I said, even he's tired of my business. So, last night, not last night, yesterday afternoon, my husband called and said, I have a business dinner to go to. You don't have to go because he knows. He knows how much it hurts me. Things that other people don't think of. I was actually talking to somebody yesterday and they asked me, you know, about going out, about things that I can do. And I was saying, well, it depends. You know, if I'm going to a place where the seats are comfortable, I might get 20 to 30 extra minutes. But if I'm going to bleachers or hard seats, you know, my husband going into restaurants, I won't do it. There's no way I'll do it. I will just suffer through it. But my husband, if we sit at a table, because usually tables have hard chairs, like hard wooden chairs, he'll say, no, can we please get a booth? Because he knows that little bit of padding is going to make me comfortable, well, more comfortable, and that it's going to make the time that I can enjoy myself just a little bit longer. So I was like, no, ride or die, I'm going to go out. And let me tell you guys, stroke. July 3rd, 2018. Stroke and grandma seizure, July 3rd, 2018. People, I know that I have said 2017 and 2018, but that's because, well, A, stroke, but B, I haven't been working. And literally, you completely lose track. You completely lose track. So it was July 3rd, 2018. I haven't been out in a social situation and let me explain what I mean by not being out in a social situation I've gone to the movies with my husband I've gone to lunch with one friend you know as in one friend at a time or I've gone you know uh, to dinner with my husband and my son but I have not been out in a social situation with multiple people where we're talking and we're all having a good time in almost what a year and a half I avoid it you know you become so isolated and introverted when you're in pain all the time when you were in pain all the time and when you were sick all the time it is so much easier to crawl into bed and I am okay with it everybody who watches this channel knows that I'm an advocate that if you don't shower for a week me too if you can only make it from your bed to your chair me too I get it um, but sometimes, I try to explain this to my husband, that no matter the physical pain, you have to do things for your soul. There is a yin and a yang to this. I mean, we can't always be just stuck in our pain. And I was. I actively was. And I actively will be because it hurts. But what this taught me was I need to make a better effort of doing things that feed my soul of going out because I had a blast. I really, really did. And I forgot about my illness for a hot second. I was just with people. We were just laughing. We were talking. We were cutting up and having a good time. And for a minute, for that hot second, I felt normal. And that is not an easy thing to do. And afterwards, I'll insert the picture for anybody who doesn't follow me on Instagram. And that's fine, but why aren't you following my, me on Instagram? I mean, why? But I'll insert the picture. You can see 
how happy I am. And this picture was taken after we spent two, two and a half hours sitting in a restaurant on the water with a bunch of people just cutting up and talking. And you can see the smile on my face. That is a genuine, I am having the time of my life smile. Truly. It had been, ooh, just gonna get emotional. It had been so long, so long. You lose so much of yourself. It's like every day you just kind of feel these pieces of yourself drift away. And last night I felt like some of them kind of clicked back into place. It doesn't mean that I can go out more. It doesn't mean that my pain is any less. It just means that you have to do these things that feed your soul. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot, but sometimes you know, our minds and our souls have so much control over how we feel. And I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not getting into the try yoga or all that stuff. What I'm saying to you is your state of mind, your mood, your emotions play such a big part in how you feel that even though I will pay for this, and I am paying for that. As much as I paid for it, or am paying for it, the amount of joy in my soul doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. I'll take it. I'll take it. And this is on the heels of Thanksgiving. And let me tell you, I cooked an entire Thanksgiving meal. I did because I love Thanksgiving. My husband loves Thanksgiving. I made pies from scratch. I made, you know, because she's, she's still in a place where she feels like she needs to do these things, even though I don't. But I do it because it brings me joy. To see everybody sitting around the table, enjoying the food that I made, brings me joy. Later, it brought me a week of an upset stomach because I don't really eat that much. You know, when your pain is that high, your stomach is not like, feed me, gotta feed me, you know? So not only did I eat more than I usually ate, I ate so much rich food that my body is entirely rebelling against me. So this was on the heels of probably a terrible and one of the worst weeks of the year. I haven't, I, I came in here and tried to film before. I got one, let's see where this is, one decoration up. I brought this little gift box, which you can't even see the bow on the top, in. I set it on this, on my thing, and I went, nope, nope, not happening. It's not happening. And at that point, I listened to my body. I went, no, this does not have to be done. I need to listen to myself and I need to go lay back down. And I know this is kind of rambly as most of my stories are, um, but I just, I wanted to come on here and tell you that feed your soul, feed your soul. Even today, even as much as I hurt today, I'm smiling. I, I can't take the smile off of my face. Well, I did cry just a little bit ago, but I'm back to smiling. I'm just, I'm just encouraging you guys not to stay isolated like I did. A year and a half, a year and a half of fear and pain and cutting myself off from the world. And like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm going to start being like, hey, let's go out. Let's do things. You know, it just means that. When I really want to do something, when my body is telling me no, but my soul is saying, you need this, I'm going to listen to my soul a little bit more. I really am. I have to. I have to because I know that the joy of this one night is going to carry me for a while, for a long time. And I've been sitting in just this mental, painful rut for so long long. I can't work. I can't walk. 
everything hurts, everything is on fire, everything is terrible. And I needed to get out of it. And I especially needed it now because Christmas is a hard time of year. It's a really hard time of year for us, at least me, you know? At least, you know, going to get the tree and decorating the tree and my house used to be decorated, I mean decked out from top to bottom every uh, autumn, every Christmas. Like the amount of decorations I have in my attic is insane because I just, I want it to be like a wonderland. I can't do that anymore. And if I asked, my husband would do it, but I'm not going to make him waste his time and be like, put this snowman here and put this, these lights here and put, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm not. So it's a hard time of year. It reminds me of all the stuff I can't do. But this helped. This really helped. And I hope wherever you are and however you're feeling, you can feed your soul. You can feed your soul, and hopefully when you do, and if you do, if you are, it's bringing that mental health up a few notches. It's bringing you back from that cliff that I always talk about, just a couple more steps. Yeah, that's really it. I just, I had to share it with you guys. I had to share it with you. Anyway, as always... Pain recognizes pain, and I see you guys. I love you.